Hello and welcome, this is Srinidhi and you're watching Peace News International, starting with the headlines. The Brahma Kumaris is celebrating 40 years of spiritual service in the United States. The venue of the celebration was Anubhuti Retreat Center in San Francisco. The World Congress of Faiths in collaboration with the Brahma Kumaris organized a panel discussions on Heroes of Faith at Global Corporation House in London. On the occasion of International Yoga Day, the Brahma Kumaris organized programs all over the world, including Leicester, New York, Malaysia, and many more. Now, the news in detail. The Brahma Kumaris celebrated 40 years of spiritual service in America at Anubhuti Retreat Center in San Francisco. The seed for the service was laid by Dadi Janki, the chief of Brahma Kumaris. This has now transformed into a huge tree, which is being nurtured by BK Mohini, the president of Brahma Kumaris in the America and the Caribbean countries. I got the aim, I have purpose. I have to be doing through my thoughts, words and actions what my father is doing and that is establishing golden age world and I am co-creator with him. Really that was the only motivation with whatever on a spiritual journey. On this beautiful occasion, BK Jenna, BK Denise reminiscenced their early days and shared heart-touching experiences. Your capacity, you can't get slack. You've got to keep building your capacity. So I feel that what Baba does is that he keeps a little eye on the space and he keeps putting whatever special power and magic that he wants to. And so I don't want to share with you all the things that take place, but um, it's a place that it's a place that you have to be true and you have to be consistent and you've got to believe. But those daddies and a lot of the elders, I owe it a lot to their good wishes and their pure feelings to make it what it is today. So thank you all so, so much. But somehow it marked um, my memory about um, uh, what can be done. Um, and an another thing that I uh, remember is that, you see, nothing can happen unless we are really strongly remembering Baba. And so everything was so totally impossible that we couldn't do it. So we just remembered Baba and had um, an idea. And then we would just hope for the best and it would just happen. The World Congress of Faiths in collaboration with Brahma Kumaris organized a panel discussion on Heroes of Faith at Global Cooperation House in London. It was attended by different representatives of different faiths, including social worker, interfaith activist and magistrate Mary Braybrook from Christianity, Director of Community Development at Muslim Hands, Maksud Ahmed representing Islam, the President of the World Congress of Faiths, Marcus Braybrook. The event was blessed by Dadi Janki's presence. Bike Chenti, the director for Europe and Middle East of the Brahma Kumaris, chose the founder of Brahma Kumaris, Brahma Baba, as her hero. She shared that his vision was one of justice, truth, equality, love, and had the courage to put his vision immediately into practice. Yoga is a unifying force that can rise about divisive impulses and bind the world. With this slogan, the Brahma Kumaris also organized programs all over the world on the occasion of International Yoga Day. Starting with Kuala Lumpur in Malaysia, where the Indian High Commission together with the Brahma Kumaris organized an event, Yoga and Unity, at Kandia Hall in Brickfields. On this occasion, the director of Brahma Kumaris in Southeast Asia, BK Mira, BK Raj, the director of Brahma Kumaris in Kathmandu, Nepal, along with the High Commissioner of India to Malaysia, Mridul Kumar, inaugurated the event. The event was organized to honor, re-emerge, reawaken, and unite our authentic self to harness our inner energy for inner, outer, and global harmony with others and nature through the power of yoga. This was accompanied with physical exercise. 
A public program, Spiritual Route to Health and Wellbeing, was outlined on Yoga Day at Harmony House in Leicester. During this event, BK Balram from Mumbai explained the origin of yoga and Raja Yoga. He conducted physical exercise sessions and spoke on its benefits. This is the asan which will never ever produce any pain in your body. For the last 29 years I have been teaching all these things. I do not know what the back pain is, what the cervical pain is, what the shoulder pain is. Never ever. This is such a wonderful posture. The further session was conducted by BK Caroline in which she elucidated the real meaning of Om Shanti and Sister Rina taught everyone the technique of relaxation, asan and pranayama. Om Sarve Sham Svastir Bhavatu Sarve Sham Shantir Bhavatu Is Om I Am and Shanti Peace you notice that we say peace, not peaceful. Because after those beautiful exercises, we're all feeling quite peaceful. At last, the program was concluded with a meditation commentary. BK Paramjit, BK Natalie, and BK Indu were also present in the program. Now let us move to New York, where Brahma Kumari's Peace Village Learning and Retreat Center, located in Catskill Mountains, organized Yoga Day program, which was facilitated by BK Susan, the Raj Yoga teacher at Peace Village, and BK Bini from Global Hospital, Mount Abu, India. BK Bini was the enthusiastic guest speaker who shared how to reclaim your inner strength through yoga. And BK Rick spoke and conducted a variety of excellent yoga exercises. In this event, BK Dorothy, the program director of Peace Village, conducted a meditation session and Carrie Dugo led a silent healing yogic walk around the Peace Village Labyrinth. The Indian Embassy in Vienna hosted a yoga event at Stadt Park in Vienna, Austria, in which Brahma Kumaris also participated. Over 400 people, along with the members of Austrian National Council and the chair of Austrian Federal Parliament Friendship Group for India, as well as the members of Vienna City Council participated. The program was concluded by a meditation commentary led by a yoga teacher. For more information on Peace News, you can log on to our website www.gwspeacenews.org. And for more information on Godlute Studios, do visit us on www.godlutestudio.org. Thank you very much for watching Peace News International and have a great day ahead. Bye for now. Om Shanti.